have you and your team actually implemented in integrations into your CRM at all? Yeah, we have several integrations. Uh, we have an in-house developer that helps us with that um, on our side, but we have helped from Enable to create custom webhooks as well. And we have integrations with our resourcing and project management software. Uh, and we also have a report with Power BI as well. And we also just recently integrated with MailChimp. Wonderful. Same question to you, Roy. Integrations, do you love them or hate them? I uh, hate them. <laughs> but um, it should be a surprise. But um, we've got a... Um, when I say integration team, it makes it sound like there's lots of people, but there's two. And so a head of integration and a person actually doing the integration. Um, and we've just embarked actually on a trust-wide integration hub. So that's all of the data, no matter what it is, going into a hub. And then whatever the system wants to take out of those data sources, it pulls it back out of that hub, which is a good way of doing it. If you've not tried to do it before, it's quite good if you've got the um, infrastructure. It doesn't require employing people who know how to do it, which isn't me. And um, so we've got, irrespective of that integration hub, which is bringing all the fundraising stuff mostly um, into that system. So that's give star just giving. You'll probably realize from like doing marathons or any sort of things like that. We have to get that data from that system and then bring it into Sugar. And uh, we do that via um, integration hubs coming soon. Um, but we've got other ways around at the moment of doing it. And then we've got Marketo, um, which we use for our um, email stuff. And yeah, Power BI and uh, various um, other things coming in and out of it. But there's, yeah, quite a lot going in and out, definitely. Thank you, Roy. Um, Master, what haven't you got? What would you like? What's it not in the product that you think every day, come on, guys, get on with it, put it in there so we can start using it? Um, I think in our instance, I think we definitely utilize a lot of what Sugar provides, but I think in terms of using it as a client relationship management tool, I think we want to do that a little bit more. So I think, you know, you touched upon Sugar Connect, and we are trying to do a similar integration to see how the emails look like, uh, you know, how if the, so those people in new business can really stay on Outlook and work on sugar from there. And I think that's something that we currently don't have, but we're working on to do. So I think that's the, the major thing that we're working on at the moment. How about you, Roy? How many uh, integrations have you got? You've mentioned a couple that are ready to HMRC. Yeah. Um, it... Anyone else that we should know about? <laughs> there's loads. There's about 19 on the integration hub uh, checklist to get into the system. Um, in terms of um, other stuff within the system, it, again, it goes back to our complexity stuff. There's loads of stuff within inside the trust that I'd like to get into the system, for example. We've got museums and attractions and things that we um, operate, like we've got hydraulic um, movements of, uh, from like a baseline canal that goes up to another canal, and you can go, it's called Anderton Boat Lift, and you can go see that, and it's in Cheshire. And um, if you turn up there, we won't necessarily know that you've turned up there because the tail system doesn't speak to the CRM system. And so I want to be able to try and do that one day where we bring in a sort of retail side of things. Um, but it's like three or four years in the future, I've got so many projects before that, but it's, uh, that's the one I want to get to.